Hello and a very warm welcome to ET Studios at Brand Equity MarTech Plus Summit powered by CleverTap. I'm your host Divina Lasson and on this episode we're going to take a deep dive right into crafting hyper-personalized customer experiences and customer journeys. How leading brands elevate their customer engagement strategies. Joining me are very esteemed guests who are going to discuss this and much more. Ankit Khanna, CPO, Make My Trip and Abhishek Gupta, COO, CleverTap. Gentlemen, welcome to ET Studios. Thank you so much for joining. Such a pleasure to have you both today. Thank Thanks, you. Thank you. So, you know, we're here to talk about a really interesting topic, which is crafting hyper-personalized customer experiences, customer journeys, and of course, who better to have than someone like you, Ankit. Um, so to kickstart, let's get right into it. Uh, we can't have any conversation about customer experience without talking about the role of data yeah, and analytics, yeah. right? So I'd love to understand from your perspective, what role has real-time data and analytics played in crafting your customer experience? And surely, ultimately, this does impact your customer engagement and customer loyalty. So if you could take us a little bit through your journey. Yeah, yeah. I, I think with time, uh, the real-time data analytics and the personalization or everything coming together is very core to our business. Yeah. Right from the acquisition of the consumer to the discovery of any travel experience, the booking experience, and then post booking experience. Every layer has multiple tenets of data attached to it. And I, th I think with time, because of a lot of technologies now being enabled, we have been able to make it better and better over the period. And, with, and given the fact that Make My Trip not only sells a certain category of travel, we sell flights, hotels, ground sure. transport, visa, activity, and you can name anything under the roof when it comes to travel. Now, how everything comes together for the end consumer to create a trip, I think is being built on uh, two basic pillars. One is that how can I understand the consumer where data and personalization comes in? And second, it, how can I delight the consumer yes. with the right experience? Because travel is very, very personal. It's, uh, it's very, people feel delighted when they book travel and it happens only a few times a year. Sure. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So Abhishek, from your perspective, what does it really take to support companies like Make My Trip to help create that sense of delight, right, with the customers? Of course, uh, data, as we're talking about, plays a big role here. Uh, from CleverTap perspective, how do you step in to aid companies in this process? Yeah, so no, that's a good question. So data is definitely the fuel to the fire, yes. I think. That's definitely the starting point. And uh, what is required in today's world is, like when we think about big data, for example, historically, the thought process has been, can we store large amounts of data? Yeah. I think that part is all done, sorted, like 10 years ago. Sure. Today's problem is all about being able to utilize this data, being able to create artificial intelligence yes. models on the top of it, and craft those end user experiences that create value. And from that standpoint, uh, like our platform essentially allows brands to sort of store massive amounts of data, process it in real time. Uh, we provide analytics product suite, we have segmentation, engagement, we provide uh, ability to sort of create unique, uh, not just messaging experience, but app experiences, yes. right? The experience that like, if you have an app, uh, the, the visual of your app could be different from mine. It could be personalized even to that extent. So we do a lot of things, but when it comes to really like making sure that uh, the brands are actually able to succeed with us, there are really two key things that we are yeah. seeing. Number one is customer journeys are becoming a lot more nuanced. Mm. And it's very, very important to understand the journey Absolutely. of the customers. It's very, very important to understand if someone is a single person or multiple persona. It's very, very important to decipher the needs right down to uh, the most granular level. Absolutely. And being able to craft those experiences. And their automation and personalization plays a pivotal yes. role. Sure, wonderful. The second thing that we are also seeing is uh, the, uh, the, the context. Um, I think... Uh, people's preferences, they evolve, uh, and the context plays a critical role. And so whenever we talk about context, uh, we cannot talk about context without talking about the real-time uh, nature of the engagement that needs to happen with the customer. So more and more today, if you look at it, the context plays a uh, important role. Like previously, we used to say content is the king. Yes. I guess context is the new well, king today. Sure, sure. Uh, yes, and, uh, yes. and their real-time uh, stuff plays a very important role. And we see increasingly more and more engagement uh, is happening on the basis of customers' current contact, which yeah. is real time, 
compared to just looking at the past behavior. Yeah, absolutely. You know, such, such relevant points there. Um, Ankit, again, your perspective here, because uh, in the travel space, as you mentioned, this is such a personal experience. And again, as you said, it's not a process that your customers go through every day. Yeah. So what does it take to really help your customers get that hyper-personalized experience, create that sense of connection and uh, connectivity to your brand? Uh, and how do you measure the success of your hyper-personalization uh, processes? Yeah, first, how we do it, I think it's a lot about understanding the consumer. And what we have also seen, and uh, maybe Abhishek was also talking about the context, I think that was bang on because when it's context, the same consumer behaves in a very different way when he's searching for a, let's assume, a, suppose he's trying to book a hotel and it's going with his wife or partner. It's very different from when he's family traveling with a group of eight, sure. nine people. Yep. And the context is very different when he is traveling with parents who are senior citizens Absolutely. and have very yeah. specific needs, right? So th there, there we in real time, we need to understand what the consumer uh, wants to do. And the way we have now built our layers of uh, personalization is near real time. In the same session, we understand what the consumer is looking for and sort of understand the consumer and sort of reflect back with the experience that what, he's, what he wants. Now, in terms of measurability, I think this is not about that particular uh, visit or or maybe that particular journey. I think it's much long term play. Yeah. And what we have seen, if we are able to retain the consumer just because we are able to get the right experience, if we are able to shorten the time taken to complete a particular booking experience. Third, but very important, if we are able to delight the consumer, because a lot of delight is sort of measured by not just one transaction at a time as i said we sell everything under the roof sure. when it comes to travel the consumer is now doing multiple bookings for the same trips mm -hmm. so that means the consumer is seeing the value not in just one product but across multiple products so all these things i i think give some idea about the consumer experience and hence retention probably in the old school of thought of measuring across 30 days 60 days is not the right thing to do anymore i think we need to have a much longer term view of the Absolutely. consumer and and understand that part a lot yeah more. absolutely but in the travel space what would you say it takes really for uh, a company to stay ahead of the curve right because these hyper personalized experiences and customer expectations around them is constantly evolving yeah. constantly maturing um so what would it really take for uh, staying I, ahead yes yeah, staying ahead i think uh, two three things uh, one you understand the on ground need and and uh, expectation from the consumer because what we do uh, at make my trip is also dependent on the fact that how travel is evolving outside uh, our app and in, in the ecosystem, yeah. right? So we become a very important player in under understanding the eco experience, uh, ecosystem experience. Second thing is that are we able to create that experience di digitally, mm. right? Travel is very different from other uh, digital commerce categories, right? Wh which is completely digital and it is a large ecosystem of players in the offline market. Now, how do you convert that experience into an online digital experience, which is which solves all the consumer needs? So that's, I think, number two. And number three, that we make my trip see us as a leader who is changing the way people travel yep. rather than we are following how things are done in on on the on ground. I think we we, we, we wear that leader hat a uh, lot more, lot often and try to change that booking experience and travel yes, experience yes. to stay ahead. Yes. So with technology at the core, of course, yeah, of what yeah. you're I doing. Mean, yeah, technology is the core. I mean, if we, I mean, a bit jokingly, we say inside the company that we are a technology company, which happens to be in a travel space. Right, there you go. Right. Sure. So technology is that core to us. And uh, we take it with a lot of responsibility and pride. Uh, and we make sure that when we are building any experience, uh, technology is the core, data is the core. Uh, we are thinking long term. We don't take shortcuts. Right. So, so, so everything, every individual in the company is with that mindset and takes a lot of pride in creating that experience using Wonderful. technology. Wonderful. Abhishek, what insights can you leave us with when it comes to innovations? Um, let's say specifically in the travel space, uh, any specific MarTech tools or um, yeah, new trends that you foresee coming up? See, uh, for a long period of time, hospitality has been the benchmark yes. for uh, customer experience, right? When we think about customer experience, we think about the experience that we have in the hotels, et cetera, right? And, and so, uh, to Ankit's point, and he made a great point, that that experience that we see in the physical world or expect, it has to get transferred to the digital world. Sure. Yeah. And, and that's where I think we as, like there are two, three 
uh, key trends that are emerging. Number one is, I think uh, like we spoke about the data in the beginning. I think one trend is the ability to harness the power of data. Yes. I think there's a lot of data that exists very candidly, but I think to what extent it gets utilized, I believe that we are still scratching the surface. Absolutely. There is a lot more that can be done to unlock the value for the Absolutely. end consumer. Yes. And that's where I think uh, brings me to the second point, which is uh, artificial intelligence will continue to play an increasingly greater role. Uh, it's not merely about just deploying machine learning models and figuring it out, right? It's just one part of it. Even the messaging, for example, yeah. like we launched uh, uh, a product, uh, a generative AI product that allows brands to create emotionally uh, relevant messages wow. for the consumer. You can tweak the emotion actually, sure, right? wow. whether you want to create FOMO or whether you want to create <laughs> trust through yeah. that message. And you can, you can dial it up or dial it down mm -hmm. and it can actually talk in the sort of the voice of the brand. Mm. Uh, now those messages, in, of course, like uh, rightfully so, they resonated very well with the end consumers and we saw the conversion rate go through the roof. So I think uh, dip, like, we have to look at like both providers like us uh, and then brands have to work together to figure out what are the use cases yes. where yes. we can actually bring the power of AI and, and bring those uh, great experiences. And the third is, I think in this entire equation, we will have to think about the market here. Of course. Uh, the market here has a lot on our plate. And um, I think one of the things that I've seen is, uh, especially with CleverTap, I've seen we get a lot of good feedback in terms of how uh, marketers life get improved by using a tool like <laughs> this. Uh, so I think uh, that is one segment uh, that continues to be front and center for us in terms of a thought process. Like we are thinking about end consumer, making the lives better for them, making their experience better, but we are equally conscious about making the experience better for the marketers. Wonderful. Ankit, I'm sure you would agree that this is uh, quite a necessary <laughs> uh, step in your journey to crafting those hyper-personalized experiences. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. As I said, uh, it's a core. Uh, earlier, it used to be about, it's like one of the things that we used to do. Uh, but now, I think in every journey, we just make sure that we, we get to the point. I, I, and I also see the other side that the consumers are also becoming a lot yeah. more demanding, right? Yeah, Their expectation from a platform for like us is a lot very different from what it used to be 10 sure, years ago, five sure. years. They are very smart. They understand um, that. And even the people are not looking for travel just purely from going from A to B. They want experiences on the on in during the journey at the destination. Their needs are very different. They are willing to experiment. Now, all these things have to be translated digitally and we have to make sure that we understand that consumer and offer that uh, personalized experience. Yeah, absolutely. All right, gentlemen, wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing all your insights. It's been really interesting. Thank you for being on ET Studios. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for, for having us. us. Yeah.